Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. The Ace of Pentacles is obviously, I feel, when you are being given like a huge gift from the divine. And usually that is when you have done things I don't want to just say the right way, but when I'm just simply going to say when you are in alignment, you will find yourself receiving a lot of divine blessings. OK, it's good fortune. This could be in your career, in a business, but there are contracts, there's deals and opportunities that are being presented to you. But there is a golden opportunity that's being presented. OK, this could be you purchasing a new home, a new car. You could be purchasing a business space. Um, there could be. Uh, an investment of yours that um is doing really it could be anything okay this could also be just a spiritual inheritance you could have a divine gift with the high priestess and the emperor being there you could have a gift like i said that is helping you more in your your life just overall you know sometimes when you are gifted with certain talents and abilities it's really really amazing when you can apply it to those more worldly things especially when that third eye chakra is open you know it makes it easier for you to discern things around you that are good bad evil and ugly so it helps you to stay on your divine path so that's a good thing the king of cups is here the five of pentacles and the sun the ten of swords um I feel like, like I said, with the King of Cups being here behind the Ace of Pentacles, most likely you or someone who is in your life or entering your life, I feel is trustworthy. OK, you may have someone around you that you are feeling like you need to be very um, cautious with. But it looks like there's a situation that's either in your life or about to enter your life or, or for some returning to your life that it, it there is. Um, there is safety, security, and stability in this situation. The five of pentacles here, the sun, and the ten of swords. I feel like what God is saying is that a lot of the things that you've had to worry about, that you've been doubtful about, that you've had to fear, many things now are ending. The ten of swords is here. So this is the end of a very tough situation. Some of you need to start recognizing that you've been in a long like cycle of dealing with people who have been very deceitful, hurtful, or whatever the case may be, whether it's friends, family members, lovers, or whatever. But there's an opportunity here for a brand new beginning with a person or a situation where you can really feel emotionally safe. You can really thrive in whatever this situation is that's being presented to you it's a golden opportunity the ace of pentacles and the sun is out here so your your time of feeling abandoned left out in the cold or focusing on negative things that's coming to an end you need to be very mindful of your thoughts right now because the five of pentacles is out here so you want to make sure that as people are projecting negative energy onto you the scarcity tactics the the you know the negative mindset being very fearful you're going to have to let go of that. Also, you know, it's like scary money doesn't make money. You hear people say that all the time. You cannot have a lot of fears around love, money, or anything. Like, don't be afraid to go after what you truly want. And that may even mean sometimes you have to put your pride aside to ask for assistance if you need it. But some of you, it's like there's, there's a fire burning inside of you where you want to do something new and i feel like the time is now if this isn't you um which i feel strongly that it is you but i feel that there's another person in your energy that you are mirroring that wants to do the same thing yeah this look at here the star and the nine of wands there you have it and here's the eight of wands so something is about to move at a very rapid pace and then you have here the the queen of cups which is going to be the match or the counterpart to the king of cups who just came out cancer pisces scorpio heavily aspected here we have aquarius and leo so something about leo season aquarius like the age of aquarius leo season when it comes to your 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 like your your star um i'm hearing your star like whatever brings you your light your glory your star like the star that shines on you like your halo people can start to see it 
again because maybe you've had to protect something or someone is protecting you now the king of cups out here interestingly enough the way i just laid the cards out for some of you there's like a divine masculine energy here that is protecting you or your masculine energy has you in a, a certain level of awareness and consciousness where you are protecting yourself and standing up for what you believe in and you know the importance of you being prepared for like anything that may come about that could hurt you or harm you, but you still need to make sure that you're not focusing on something negative. It's what, what I'm really getting here is that like your spiritual team, your angels, your guys, your ancestors, God, like they, they've already seen the truth about some type of deception or, or betrayal that has happened behind the scenes. It, it, like you really don't have much to do. There's also a situation with the star of the queen and king of, of cups for many of you, there is like a divine connection or partnership here that's coming into fruition for you. And all that's necessary is now the king of wands is here with the fool. That's heavy like Aries energy. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it's coming under the ten of swords. So you could have had a, um, a masculine who honestly made a very, very foolish mistake. In going up against you let me get another card because there's two masculines out here of great significance that's in your life here but with the fool card here and the king of wands like somebody there's the end of a tough situation where either this king of wands is someone new coming into your life who is going to inspire you to be better they're going to take their leadership role like i said they're going to help help you to see the bigger picture this could definitely be like a sagittarius and a, or an aries i'm not really getting leo with this fire energy this is what's may, may be coming in for you now that a tough cycle is over now for some of you this king now that i'm looking at it here is the king and the queen of cups they have their backs to one another so for some of you you're turning your back on a situation that at one point you thought was destined for you. I, there, there's a situation where you had a lot of hope and faith that something would come together. And I feel like you tried to be as positive as you could be. But while you were being positive about a, an, a situation working out, somebody else was betraying you behind your back and they were only focused on negative things. Somebody stayed focused on negativity and that negativity it manifested in this connection. Or some of you need to be careful not to do that, not to focus on the negative, especially in your new connections so that it doesn't manifest into your actual reality, okay? Yeah, the Queen of Swords came out. So something in here you're very guarded or defensive about when it comes to for some of you this is a new love coming into your life but this person is coming in like the nine is shining armor like they're ready to help you transform your life and i feel like you're very defensive when it comes to this energy because you've had to turn your back on someone that you really did love and that you felt like you would have a future with but it's like now the star is here with the nine of wands. You see now that you have to actually protect yourself from someone that you were very much devoted to that made you feel like you had to be very cautious with them. Now it's like the real deal is coming in to help you to transform your life. They're focused, they're driven. They'll defend and protect your honor. You know, they're wise, they're a leader. And you're defensive towards this energy now because of all of the sadness that you went through in the past. It's time for you to see now that with that high priestess emperor energy, it's truly safe now for you to build an empire because all of the debris from the last foundation that you have, that you had, I'm sorry, has been cleared away. The sun is here. The sun. Clarify with the ace of cups. Yeah real love is here it's real it's real this time yeah you have here the strength card and behind it is the two of wands and the two of swords we just had 222 the 222 portal so in the reading that i just did um i think today is the the um today is the 23rd so yesterday was 222 so some of you energetically 
um, spiritually, like you, you've made a decision. You have the strength to finally make a decision to move away from a stalemate situation here that was causing some type of conflict in your life because the five of wands is here. Wow. The five of wands, the lovers and the emperor and the ace of swords, and then the 10 of cups. Wow. The moon and the chariot and the four of wands. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Are you serious? So all you have to do is make a decision. Somebody here, you cleared away some type of energy. Now here's the queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles. Yeah. You cleared away some type of energy. You recognize exactly who you are. You got like very practical about a situation. Some of you are really thinking a lot about your home life, your family life. You know exactly now how you're going to proceed in a situation and spirit is saying you don't have to proceed with so much caution anymore because this, whatever this is that's in your life or coming into your life, it's real. It's true. You can trust it. All you had to do was decide that you don't want something and it automatically eliminated. Like there's a certain type of energy that you've been connected to or attracting something about you changed and all it was was that your mind changed i always said where the mind goes the body follows you finally made a decision and that's exactly what spirit was urging you to do to make a decision because some of you that you haven't met this like dream person but they're on their way into your life or they're in your life now and they're ready to turn things up a notch with you or you're ready to turn things up a notch with this person. But you have to have the strength to allow real love and joy to come in by having the strength now to make a decision to no longer participate in situations that, you know, don't bring value into your life. This epiphany is leading you to a lot of new opportunities now where there is balance you have a very stable life coming. You don't have to worry about being left out in the cold anymore. So the five of wands came in. Like I said, this is a lot of conflict, jealousy. Um, people, you know, putting their, their thoughts and opinions onto you're You're leaving all of that behind. You're leaving the gossip, the jealousy and everything else. You're just leaving all of the drama behind. And so here we have the lovers, the emperor and the ace of swords. So you have chosen the type of person that you want. And that person has chosen you. Even if you haven't met them physically, you now, like I always say, if you want to manifest something, you first have to be very clear in your mind about what it is that you want. And be intentional about it. So now that you're overcoming these obstacles of getting past some type of betrayal here and the fact that you had to leave someone behind, most likely like permanently, there was a choice that was made. So your energy now is calling in a true divine counterpart here. The person that you will have a life with. You have the moon, the chariot, the four of wands and the ten of cups like this is a combination that you, I, I may see a combination like this every few months. It, it's not every day that you see the emperor and the empress come out or the four of wands and the ten of cups, the moon and the chariot card. So this, I feel like with this moon energy, this new moon, especially something here is taking off. There, there is illusions being cleared away so that in the year of 2023, the year of the chariot, the number seven, and I, I keep reiterating that in every other reading because it's very true. You're very clear now about in what direction you're going in. And a lot of you are for sure, you're turning your back on anything and everything from your past that is keeping you from being able to be celebrated or to celebrate having a family, a home, or a life that you truly want. If it's not bringing you peace, like you're just leaving it behind. So some of you, you definitely, you drew a line in the sand and it's over and done. You are very serious, I feel, about clearing, cutting, canceling, deleting certain soul ties and contracts in your life. Something here is completely over. You're no, you're no longer thinking about it. You're not pondering on it. It's over. Something here is like over and it can never ever come back 
The Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you you looked at your own worth. The Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. This is this is like a divine feminine here. The Empress is not out here, and it's like the Empress out here. But this is the Queen of Pentacles. The reason why this Queen of Pentacles is not yet at the Empress level is because you're still in this Queen of Cups energy, turning your back on a King of Cups. As your heart opens up more and you can allow yourself to go into new contracts, you will then become like the actual divine feminine. Not saying that you're not divine feminine, but some of you, you will be crowned as the empress once you enter into this new contract. Like it's like a, a new contract has been given to you. I feel like within the last 24 hours for some of you <laughs> and you need to sign it. It's like they sent it over to you like you need to e-sign this. For some of you, if it's not love, there's um there's a huge business opportunity. There's a contract. If I'm not mistaken, I said that in a reading like within the last few days. Some of you, you have a huge contract coming in. There's a business opportunity. There's a relationship or possibly both. And it's about to really set you up for something major. The Queen of Pentacles is here with the Nine of Pentacles. Your money is about to look really, really, really good. Like you're going to be able to sit back and, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Like your hard work is really paying off. Some of you are definitely moving into entrepreneurship or if you've been working really hard grinding as an entrepreneur, it's all about to pay off. And it's all because of eight of cups. You decided to, to move away. And as soon as you decided to walk away, move away or to make this life change and to make whatever makes you happy now your priority your spirit guys they all came in with the six of, of swords and it's like they they've just cleared an entire path for you all you had to do was say i'm ready that was it and now you have here renewal which is judgment it's like you're looking over the past you're com you 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 know you you forgive yourself you forgive other people you just don't want any parts of it because your heart had always been telling you what you needed to do. And although you may not know exactly where you're going, you know that you don't want to go back to where you came from. You know that and you know you don't want to stand still. So this is finally now just taking a leap of faith and moving forward. And I feel like God and your spiritual team was in 100% like agreement with this. The world card is here. <laughs> yeah, the world. So that, that's you graduating. And for some of you, you have a masculine that has been waiting on you for a very long time. They've been waiting on you to finish growing, building, evolving, maturing, clearing away a lot of this karmic debt so that they could actually come in to make some type of offer. There has for sure for many people been a battle in the spirit for like a divine feminine energy. And I feel that once you made a decision after all of this hard work, see the seven of pentacles is here, the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Once you reached a, a, a place of being more practical in your life, divine feminine, working more on your pentacles and, the, and, and not being so stuck in being intuitive and the high priestess and, and spending so much time in the spirit realm and you grounded yourself, you started to really see situations for what they truly were. So these illusions have been shattered now. Now you're seeing that what you want out of life is more clear to you. So you're more intentional and it automatically sent out a vibration to your actual match. This person, this King of Swords is like, goodness, it's about, it's finally here. Like they're so glad now that you have finally like graduated and learned this lesson of honestly, just not being so emotional. There was an imbalance of feminine and masculine energy. Some of you, because you were tied to this king of cups, this person who kept you um, in this very emotional, erratic kind of energy where there was no stability, no emotional security or stability for you. Being someone who's very intuitive and perhaps sensitive to energies around you. This was blocking you from your ace of pentacles. So now you have a king of swords, someone who's coming in. Who is fair, they're just, they're very intelligent. This person may come off as detached, but I feel like this is actually 
a fairly good match for this Queen of Cups energy because you need something. You you're missing that masculine energy. You're missing that logical, like objective, fair-minded pers perspective because you're so. Some of you are very creative. You know, you're a free spirit. You're creative. You're very intuitive. But in order to actually navigate through the world and and manage this Ace of Pentacles properly. What you've been missing is this King of Swords like energy. Someone who can change your perspective on how you communicate. Someone who um, is emotionally available, but emotionally wise and intelligent. The Queen of Cups sometimes can be a drama queen. The Queen of Cups can sometimes react and respond too quickly based on emotions alone this king of swords is like man i'm so glad that you finally grounded yourself i'm glad that you graduated from the queen of cups to the queen of pentacles and you started working on the things that we have to build here in the 3d because this king of swords is saying we've already built a life in the 5d energetically together now as above so below we can actually have something serious substantial and secure here in the 3D now that you finally learn how to not act so much with just emotions alone. Wow. This is a lot of serious like spiritual growth. Yeah, the three of pentacles is here now. This person for some of you, um, this is like a past a past person for some or a past life person. The six of cups is here. Um there's justice now in this situation because something is finally balanced. So the problem is that when it comes to this union, there was an imbalance of feminine and masculine energy. Your masculine could have been too masculine and you were too feminine. But when there's a distorted feminine, you actually become masculine. And when a masculine is too masculine, they become feminine. I know this sounds weird. But think about it. If you know how you meet some men and, it, you know, masculine and feminine doesn't have anything to do with, with gender. But, you know, you meet some men and they're so macho, like they think that they're supposed to only receive from a woman, which makes them actually feminine. Right. And then you meet some women who are so feminine that they become like. <laughs> so um how can i say like so independent that they actually become they carry a masculine signature energetic signature so now that the feminine is understanding the importance of building and growing and flourishing but still being open to love now this masculine this macho so that makes sense the emperor and the high priestess now this really masculine energy can finally like be a match to this feminine. It, I, it was too much feminine energy or too much masculine energy in a connection, a spiritual connection here. And this masculine has been watching you build and grow and evolve or you've been i feel like you both have been watching each other in the spirit or your ancestors your guys they've been watching over this connection waiting for there to be some kind of balance established here you and this person both have grown spiritually the six of cups is here so it's like when you first started on this on your journey obviously you were like a baby in the spirit now the both of you have grown and evolved So you're going back to square one, back to what you are. So it's like some of you, when you started your journey, whenever there was, you had an idea of what you wanted. Through the karmic cycles and situations, the heartache and the pain, I feel like you may have lost sight of what you wanted because you felt like it was something that you just could not have, which explains the five of pentacles and the five of wands. So for instance, if you knew that... Um, you wanted like a, a very um, ex like an exclusive monogamous relationship and you plan to get married after so many years, perhaps of meeting frogs like you just thought that you would never meet the one because it's been third party situation after third party situation. You may have started to lose hope for it and you were focusing on the negative, but not realizing that because of where you were emotionally 
you were actually manifesting third party situations because you honestly you were so afraid of doing when you focus on your fears you manifest them well now that you've grown and you're more practical and you're being more logical you're going back to how you're going back to feeling like a free spirit like like child childlike there's a an innocence a, a purity there's a clean slate here so it's like now you believe in love again is what i'm getting you believe it's like okay the idea of love it, it seems practical now look at this four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles with the three of cups you're no longer holding back so something here has been removed yeah, you're no longer holding back the idea of working on bringing balance into your life. This is all pentacles. So this is all 3D. Like this is, you can see, you can touch, you can feel this. This is you laying brick by brick by brick and you building something up. Like I said, you can see it, you can touch it, you can feel it, you can smell it if you need to. This is you, this is no longer you just doing the work in the spirit. This is no longer on your healing journey. A lot of what we do on our healing journey, nobody else really sees it until you build something up. This is now you, you stepping out of the 5D doing the work. And now it's, it's actually showing up in the 3D. The four of pentacles is here. This is saying now. I feel like there's about to be a very like an extreme um, shift in your finances for sure. If, if you were you or someone that you're dealing with or coming into your if someone was. Um, how can I say this? If someone was having financial issues because the heart is opening now, they're about to now have the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here is about to make a lot of money, I feel, in a partnership with someone the three of, of cups here, something here is going to bring about a lot of unity and celebration. So someone here could be announcing a proposal, an engagement, a wedding pregnancy. Someone could be moving in with one another or just taking a relationship to the next level, traveling, having fun. But there's balance here. That's Sagittarius energy. That's that yin and yang energy. This is you balancing your light with the dark, the feminine, with the masculine. This is water and fire. Like learning how to, like I said, react and respond. Learning when to take charge and when to sit sit down. Learning how, when to be intuitive and when to be practical and logical. But being able to mix them together by understanding this type of balance here it's 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 just balancing the scales out there's very heavy earth energy here um i'm picking up like capricorn virgo libra sagittarius this is all a balancing act that's happening here you and someone are going to come together and work on a lot it's a ma it's like a magical opportunity it's a golden opportunity and you will be planning, like making plans for the long term here. This could be a situation of you meeting somebody and um, like working together on a business plan. And that person is your actual counterpart. Through this friendship, this business partnership or whatever, there's an, an, an element like there's there's a lot of growth and evolution here. Where you and someone, you're, you're going to see each other evolve and grow. And, and I feel like God put this together the way that it was put together because it's just meant to go together. I, I mean, I don't know. Something here is very much destined to be 100%. Like there's absolutely, there's no way you can deny this. The only thing about this situation is it has required patience and what spirit is telling me right now is a lot of people have been waiting but they haven't been patient because you've waited a long time does not mean that you were patient because a lot of people in their waiting they're still very anxious 
You can be waiting on a counterpart, but every day you wake up saying, I wonder when they're coming. I wonder when they're coming. I wonder if I'll ever have this. And then when it doesn't happen, you always fall into the five of pentacles, five of wands. That's where a lot of people unconsciously develop a lot of um, jealousy, envy, and bitterness because they don't see their manifestation coming in on time. But it's because most of the time while you are manifesting, you are manifesting out of a place of fear. You are manifesting out of the place of, I, I need it to come very, very soon because I'm so afraid that I won't get it. And I feel like it's, you know how people, it's so cliche, but it's true. As soon as you stop looking for something, it just come, it comes to you because you're no longer afraid that it's not going to come. Wow, this is really amazing. There's been, you know, there's a lot of like crappy situations that come out in the ring, but there's good energy here. Seriously. There's really good energy coming in. This is like a real um, twin flame soulmate connection that is destined to move into actual like life partnership. And this is this this comes with a business partnership as well. But you are you you have to make the choice to leave someone behind. Either you wow, look at that decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. I feel like somebody just decided that they're never going back to a particular relationship in their life, whether it's them choosing to separate themselves from a, a lover, a friend, a family member, or all of the above. Somebody is completely separating themselves from different people that were a part of a, a cycle in their life that was not bringing them wish fulfillment. And all it took was this one decision. And it, I feel like it has changed everything something is going on with the the energy right now where um it's like i don't know you be careful of what you think about because it's like you certainly may get it whether it's good or bad integrity does the situation align with your morals and values acceptance everything happens for a reason soulmate your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally and then here we have healing so once you decided that you really want to heal yourself and you want a person in your life that has the same morals and values as you, they want the same things as you, they may not communicate the same as you, but their divine purpose in life is in alignment with yours. You were able to see clearly who is truly a soulmate and who is not. And it, I feel like it helps you understand why certain things have happened. A lot of you now are coming into an awareness or the person that you're connecting to. You see exactly why something didn't work out. You see that something did not work out simply because it was time for you to release, for you to receive better. Yeah. You and somebody else in your life were just on different pages. Like you don't share the same vision with someone and... I feel like certain situations had to come about for you to see that it, you have it, it. I'm really seeing where God has forced certain situations to end. You know, sometimes like a person, if you won't let them go, God will come in and will cause a tower moment. They will make that person hurt you so bad or betray you so bad that it will force you into alignment. It will force you to leave something or someone behind and you will never turn back. Th that's what has happened here. Something has happened where um, someone has shown you their true colors. And I did a reading like that about two weeks ago where I said these crazy obsessed like exes and, uh, and um, whatever, like they they've done so much manipulation and spell work and it has backfired. And they actually now they've canceled themselves out permanently because all of the bad things that they were wishing would happen or to, to like hold you back or to keep you bound in a situation. I told you guys a few weeks ago, even with like Valentine's Day, I told you, I said people were doing so many breakup spells and using so, so much um, manipulation that when all of that stuff backfired. That they were going to cut themselves out permanently. There are people now who have been married for years. They're divorcing. And I'm telling you, they will never like they won't even have a friendship with a person. Because with the sun here being next to the Ten of Swords, every single thing that they did to cause any kind of 
sadness, grief, regret, or anything else on a on a divine person, it's backfiring. So even in some of these situations, like, you know, I'm not saying you're in a third party situation, but for some of you, you do have a person in your energy and you may not have met them yet. Or even if you have, it's not a relationship, but if they have someone else in their life, or even if they are single, but they still have a person in their energy, their energy is being cleared out completely because God is just like all things that are not in alignment. It must go. And the people who were trying to hold on to people or situations, like I said, they've canceled themselves out completely now because of the heavy manipulation that they've decided to do. So some of you are going to have people that are coming into your life and they're coming out of really nasty situations or this is even you. But God made it that way so that they would never go back. Some of these karmics now, they've shown their true colors. It's like. I'm, and I'm really seeing a lot of divine, like men, like divine masculines. These crazy upsets, like karmic women, they will never be able to talk to these masculines again because the, the things that they've done in the dark is just completely insane. But that happened so that these people could no longer have a stronghold over these divine masculines who have been stuck in karmic cycles or divine feminists. Take it however it resonates. So this path was clear so that when these masculines go towards an actual divine feminine, they're not carrying baggage with them because there will be no chance for reconciliation with the karmics. They're leaving that completely behind. Like forever, for good. There will be no turning back. Yeah. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. This was the problem why some people were not able to go into partnerships, whether it was, you know, business, platonic, or whatever. You may have had to take some time out or have time apart from a person to understand that, like, okay, something here is just, there's a misalignment. Wow, that's good though. Because this means that the, the truth is, is out completely. And people are making decisions now based on the facts. See, a lot of people who have been manipulating situations in the background, they've been hiding and cloaking themselves and trying to copy other people's energy and they've gotten away with it. Now the veil is completely gone and the way that the energy has shifted, you cannot hide anything now. And also a lot of the the divine masculine collective, as I've been saying for a long time, since especially since Mars has gone direct, masculines are taking action now. They know what's happening behind the scenes with these karmics. And the karmics, after all this spell work and manipulation, they have really just like <laughs> revealed all of their ugly truths. Some of these masculines are just disgusted by these people. And it's the same thing for Divine Feminine Collective as well. Divine Feminine who have had to deal with distorted masculines from their past. You're, you're completely disgusted by them. To know that they would go so low. But it was this was all a part of the plan. You had to see how low these people will go so that you will know not to try to pick that snake up and take it home with you ever again. So now you don't have to have certain things in the back of your mind. There is no, no chance for any type of reconciliation. And that's a good thing because that means that you're no longer holding space. Your space is completely clear now for this Ace of Pentacles, for the sun. Joy. Look at this. Balance. Uh-oh, I dropped the card. Balance. Uh-oh. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And that's why I'm saying you have the Queen of Cups. She's turning her back to the King of Cups because they have an emotional connection. Um... It could be very emotional, you know, sexually satisfying or whatever. But these two people, they're both, they can both emotionally manipulate one another. 
you know, I always I, I laugh sometimes like the king of cups and the queen of cups. Sometimes you have to decide, well, who's going to sit down and cry about every situation? There has to be some type of logic here. This is where you understand that it's OK when opposites come together. There, there is an attraction here. It's not just light and dark. It's feminine and masculine that's important. This king of swords is not the, the like the king of cups. This king of swords is not like the queen of cups. But the king of swords gives the queen of cups what he or she needs, which is logic and masculine energy. This king of cups communicates by thinking, not by just feeling yeah, it says here, surrender. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this person is connected to you in the spirit. They've been waiting. Like you can see this, this person has been waiting on you to finally like just get it. Or this is how you feel about somebody. I, I feel like you and someone both have been just waiting. Like when is my person coming? And you had to just surrender. It says, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And this is a sacred union. So you have to surrender to this sacred union. And it says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. See, this is why all of the readings have been talking about conditioning. Because some people you've been conditioned like... Even listening to tarot, you think that, oh, the king and the queen of cups, that's the only pair that I want. If I'm a water sign, I need to look for somebody that's a water sign. You know, if I'm emotional, I need to look for someone who's emotional. If you notice at the beginning of the reading, it was the emperor and the high priestess. The emperor is organized. They're logical. They're analytical. The high priestess is the one who is looking behind the veil the high priestess is the one who relies on intuition and sacred knowledge the two of them together this and that makes sense now these two people can come together and they can build an empire because you have the divine feminine energy that's intuitive and you have the divine masculine energy that's logical and organized you don't always need two extremely intuitive people who are both walking around reading each other and reading everyone else because where is the where's the action you you can't navigate through the world only being intuitive and and spiritual like there has to be some balance and a lot of people have not been with the person that balanced them because you were so busy looking for someone who was just like you or looking for things that you were taught that you should seek in a, in a partner that wasn't healing you or, or helping you. Now, God is sending you what you need. And it's all wrapped up in what you want. So some of you, if you're manifesting, you may want to go back to your list <laughs> and make sure that you're not trying to manifest yourself. You don't need to manifest yourself. You need to manifest somebody that can bring out the best version of you. And that's what this person that's entering your life is going to do. They're going to bring out the best version of you. So be careful with this four of cups energy of thinking that something is is boring or you don't like it you're, or, or missing the point. Like you're looking for something that sometimes it can be right in front of you. You're. You're needing to change your perspective on what you're looking for by understanding why you're looking for that. I've had to think about this myself, honestly. Just because you're emotional and, and you cry a lot, you don't need a, a, a partner that's always crying. You both can't sit on the couch and cry together. When everything falls apart, somebody has to cry and the other person is going to have to be logical and take action. You know, it, it's two people who are self-aware and emotionally intelligent. And the wheel is here with the six of pentacles. So this is saying don't fall victim to an old pattern of thinking and let this opportunity pass you by. Because the wheel is here with the six of pentacles saying that all of the good things that you've done, they're trying to come back into you now so that you can have all of this abundance. So that you can share 
your gifts, your talents, your abilities, your resources or whatever with other people. And it's true. Some of you, your person, they may be different from you. But the two of you are going to be able to go out, I feel, in the world and help a lot of people by coming together. And I, I do feel like there's going to be differences between you and this person. Background. Um, differences in your your finances. But you, you and this person will balance one another out out perfectly so the differences are, are working for you instead of against you if you recognize it and understand the bigger picture it says here pay attention to the red flags i feel like what i'm getting from this some of you you need to pay attention to the red red flags but you first need to assess and evaluate what you think is a red flag. Because right now I'm seeing the five of pentacles and that five of wands. Some of you need to be careful not to think that what society has told you is a red flag is a red flag in this situation. Because you are being tested. I'm not telling anybody to go towards anything, you know, toxic. But I'm saying sometimes your conditioning and those outdated beliefs about people will cause you to think that something is a red flag that's not. You will think that something is a red flag simply because it's different and it's not what you're used to and it forces you out of your comfort zone. Yeah, getting to know each other. Heart to heart conversations. Yeah, when you have these disagreements, you need to have heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other because there's going to be disagreements because this person is a soulmate they're your true love you look at here give your relationship a chance waiting and i can't make this up and engagement is right afterward there's a new love entering your life here this person most likely i can't tell you that it's the very next person that you meet but you will know this person will be your soulmate you will be different from this person you also need to be careful of the jealousy the envy and the projections from other people around you because when people sense these type of connections coming towards you, they're going to do everything to tell you that that person isn't for you. That's the way that the devil is going to work to ensure that you and this person don't connect. This is worth waiting for. For some of you, this is a, a, a past life love that's coming back. They're, they're ready now or they've been waiting on you. For some of you, this could be someone from your past. Because reconciliation is here. But again, time is an illusion. When you say reconciliation, this could be a lover from thousands of years ago if you really believe and understand in past life connections. This doesn't have to be someone you're reconciling with in this lifetime. Also, reconciliation, this could be someone that was once just a friend or someone from, from childhood or from your past that you haven't been in an actual relationship with. Maybe you thought back then, oh, this person is too different from me. But they're presenting themselves to you now in this time, now that you have changed your perspective about things and you will see how they actually add a lot of value to your life and vice versa. So you have true, true love, soulmate, heart to heart conversations. So you and someone, you're going to start talking about what you want in a relationship. Don't tell a person, don't ever tell them everything that you want because you don't want them to, to play a role. But engagement and wedding is here. Soulmate, true love, like the cards are here. And this is, for a lot of you, this is not someone from your past. It's a new love. It's a new love that you have a past life connection with. But, and this is coming in very soon and you have her keep an open mind. Wow. Like I said, it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You and this person will have a very strong chemistry. I feel like the two of you will heal one another and you will oftentimes play around like children. Healing family issues, codependency is here. So you could pick up a little bit of codependency in the situation here. But I feel like this is something that you and another person are both healing individually. 
some of you have been very emotional or you're connected with someone so one of you could be emotional while the other one is detached but this comes from a cycle of codependency somebody could be very detached because they are afraid to get hurt did i say detached some someone here could be very detached because they are afraid of getting close to someone and getting hurt someone here could be very clingy and emotional because they have separation anxiety. They are afraid of how they're going to feel when someone leaves them. So the two of you have had to learn lessons on how to overcome codependency and honestly toxicity to be able to come together and understand where the two of you are coming from because you want the same things. So, so this is something that's being divinely guided and orchestrated by like God himself.